All right, before I begin, uh, who here has a son, daughter, nephew, niece, yep, cousin yep, in yep. sports? Mm -hmm. At like an elementary, middle school, or high school? Yep. Okay. Well, we have the solution for you to figure out their schedule and look at this bit. My name is AJ Villane. I'm the CEO and CIO of Lean Sports. I am Crystal San Pedro. I am CMO and Secretary. I am in charge of marketing and social media. I'm Nestor Peña, the CTO and CFO of Lean Sports. So the problem. Teens throughout Fresno Unified aren't aware when sports events are nor where they, where they take place. This causes a lack of motivation to the athletes that play these sports because not a, pe not a lot of people attend their events. Our solution is to market sports events throughout Fresno Unified School so, we, so students ensure, so we can um, ensure students' involvement and recognition um, to young athletes all around the schools. So the way we are planning on doing this is through our app, website, and social media. Our social media is going to be the way we are going to highlight students of like a, like a player of the game, of like a big game of the season, or a big game of the week as highlighting that as like a potential game everyone might want to see. Our website is going to highlight all the schedules, rosters, and coaching staff, so if scouts want to take a look at it, they can. And our app is going to be very similar to our website, but have, have, it's going to have its own twist. So our target audience, we plan to market to high school students, high school students that play sports, parents, family members who have children, or other family members who play sports. Our main competitor is Max Preps. Um, some ways we're different from them or unique is that right now we're focusing on Fresno Unified Press Schools, but we do plan to um, expand. Um, you, um, the app will send you daily alerts and you can send push notifications to your friends and family as well as share events through Facebook and Instagram. It's very much personalized to your needs. It's easy to navigate, it's free. You can buy tickets from there as well as it gives you the full year um, calendar of all upcoming events. So we did a survey based trying to get a glimpse about what people would think about our idea. Um, we did three questions. The first question we did was, do you know when sports events are going on? And as you can see, many people said no. And the second question we said was, how do you find out about events? And 39.5% people said friends, or 31.6% people said social media, I mean other. And 28.9% said social media. The last question we asked was, would you use an app to find out when school events are? And 36.8% said yes, and 31.6% said maybe. So it kind of gives us like a 50-50 that people would consider using our app. So our MVP event. Our MVP event will also take place at other high schools by traveling during their lunches and getting the surveys done by the staff and students on campus. So this is a way we are going to be able to reach out to the other high schools to get their opinion and make the website and app feasible for them to use and make it simple for them to use as well. We also want to go to elementary school carnivals and get the parent point of view because the parents are also a big part of our users. So our, our app prototype. So once you download the app, it's going to ask you to register log to log in. Once you register and log in, it's going to ask you to choose your favorite sports. By choosing your favorite sports, it's going to the app will. Um, modify to the teams that you like and send you notifications on the teams. So on the top um, left you have all your um, the upcoming games and in the middle you have all your favorite teams that you chose and on the bottom you have um, the scores. And then the statistics, this will give you all the, the scores from recent games or past games. You also have access to the full calendar. You can easily choose a date and it will give you 
all the um, sports, all the events for that day, or you can easily um, scroll all the way down and for further events. And then you also have your saved um, games here. Um, I'll give you the sports, the time, and where it's, um, it's taking place. So our website. Our website is very similar to our app in a way. It's going to be a three-click uh, three rule. We learned this rule by making it easy for our users to navigate our website, our app, and they're not getting bored of trying to find the one thing they're looking for. So I click on a school such as Sunnyside. This will make it where it's going to pull up the home page for this main school. It's going to have all the sports the school is offering from track and field to soccer. So if you click on soccer, such as, you can click on the schedule that you want. It's going to pull up into its own little window. The window is now going to allow you to see all the sites, times, opponents, location, and the date it's going to happen. This is so our users that may be uh, like grandparents, they have trouble on the phone, they like to go to a website where it's going to be nice and big. This is the way we're resolving that issue. Some of our 2020 goals going into the future will be very much partnering with Fresno Unified and getting our app and website coinciding with each other. Um, the app and website will be very much corresponding with each other as one updates, the other one will also update. The partnering with Fresno Unified, we want to target Fresno Unified first because we think this is the biggest market we can move towards right now. Because we know they're having issues getting people to the goal two um, policy that's in every school. It's student involvement in extracurricular activities, such as by attending sports events, clubs, or dances. And so this is the way we think we can get more students to the events. We want 35,000, hopefully, downloads by the end of this year. Thank you. What, I, did, I missed uh, how much you want to make on a download of this app. I am sorry, I don't know how I missed that, but um, is, it, is that how your, your revenue source is the downloading of the app, or is it advertising through with it? So the way we are going to, uh, the downloading of this app, it will be a free app. We are very much a non-profit organization, oh, okay, so but the way we're going to make our money to keep our app updated, our website updated, is through ad revenue. So that's by having ads on our website okay. and part partnering with other local businesses and see if they'll sponsor some money to keep us going. Okay. As far as the MVP pitch, first of all, you guys did a great job. Uh, th this is really excellent. Your visuals, probably, I've seen, this is my eighth one in two days. This is probably the best visuals I've seen yet. I just want you to know you have a real strength in that area. Mm -hmm. Keep using it. And it's great that you're working on a app because it needs visuals. Your visuals are excellent. I mean, it's really good. So you've got some real strength in that area. Uh, I think that this is definitely going to be used. I have a background. I was a, a recruiter, actually, for sports recruiting for uh, student athletes to go into NAIA Division Three, Division Two. That takes a different person than Division One. Everybody always thinks of Division One. They're like, "Oh, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do." But well, how do the other schools fill their sports? I want to jump all over this. I think you could get the recruiting agencies of the nation. I think you need to think bigger. I think you need to think bigger than Fresno Unified. I think you need to plan this, take a step back, really look at how can you make this something that's available everywhere, and how do you get your data? You need your data because the 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 recruiters have to they have to know where they're going to go. They only have so much time, and they have to get to they have to get to an event. A video promo is fine. I used to get sent those to show a student athlete doing whatever, but they can't put it together the same as live. So I gotta go to a stadium and then I gotta watch and I got three guys I click off and then I run to another one I watch and then, how am I gonna get to all these places? And how do I know who I'm gonna look at? I just have to like thumb through brochures in the back of newspapers in areas I don't even know, looking at this kind of stuff. So when when I think about this, they literally they will pay. The recruiting companies will pay, the individual agents will pay to be a part of this and to have this. So from that perspective, you just mentioned it lightly, somebody did? No, it'll work. It'll work for sure. Next, if you can have all of the types of things that you're doing uh, show just expanded, expanded. I just see so much expansion here with each school and which different things. Like you become like the calendar place 
that's alive, that's active, that has the pulse of what's going on at a school. But that's all data. I also started a newspaper and had a newspaper for a while in a small community. And I was going to three to four other small communities that don't get a lot of like attention. And so in that, my biggest problem was nobody wants to give me news, but they want to read it. They all want to read the news, but they're too embarrassed to give me any news. I go to the schools, I try to get stats on the sports events. Sports event stats, I can't find the AD, I can't find sports coaches, I can't get them to talk to me. So think of that. That's a limiting factor you're going to have to overcome. How are you going to become an authority when you don't have content? You've got to have content to become an authority. You see what I mean? So you've got to go after these thoughts ahead of time, how to streamline that a coach can put it in. Why would a coach want to put it in? Either his boss is going to tell him to put it in, or there's some benefit that he gets by having that work for him, right? So maybe he has more students come. When you say you want to focus on Fresno Unified and moving to the next thing, close Unified is sports, 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 sports. I'm not stopping saying sports. Why? Because I'm trying to drill it in your head. People come from all over the nation to come to Clovis Unified to play sports. I know there's a Fresno Unified school. But Bakersfield and Clovis will always be in the top of wrestling, the top of football, the top of, it's the way it goes for the Valley. So don't miss a segment because you're being altruistic and you're thinking, well, Fresno Unified is a bigger amount of people. This is a Fresno Unified school. Don't be so polite. Go after what you gotta get, you know? Great job as a CEO leading and directing this group. I don't wanna take any more time. Love to talk to you more later, but I'll let the other guys go. Well, let me congratulate you on the job you did. This is really, as a star, this is really good. And I can understand that there are only three people. I saw some other groups are six people. So all this load is divided among only three persons. This is considered two. First time to present to outsiders. So what I like, I see you believe in what you are doing. You understand the idea clearly. You explained it clearly. What I like very much is that you did some kind of surveys, field surveys. And I see it's like 38 people participated in this survey. Um, what I like also is that you think in an analytical way. You focused a lot on your website, you described a lot about it. This is really good. You are taking it serious. Uh, what I would love to see, and I'm sure you, you have this in your consideration, and I'm going, you are going to inject this into your business plan. But I would, this is business, and any business is based on facts and figures. So we need to see figures. We need to see numbers to talk. Finance is a very important part. It's core of any business you need to build. So numbers, some financial analysis, some financial reports, high courses, of course, it's all estimations. We need to consider, highly consider, the financial aspects of the business, uh, as well as um, Marketing in general, you're, thinking, you're the marketing director, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I highly recommend to have, uh, I like the website, right? It looks you're putting a lot of effort in this, but how we will know, I, 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 am, I am a father, I have a children in this age, and I would love to participate in something like that, but how I can know about your website, how are you gonna reach your targeted customers? What is your marketing plan? Okay, I'm sure you're gonna. I'm sure you consider this, but it needs more time to work on this. Uh, also, as long as you you look smart in analysis and you run some surveys, why not go beyond that? The survey with it has only two questions. So why not? As long as you're going to ask people and take their time, include more questions. It's gonna help you. And based on the answers, you can do more in analysis, like SWOT analysis, some risk analysis, some other stuff like that. But overall, as a start, you did a good job. Thank you. So full disclosure, this is the team that I'm mentoring. <laughs> so I will try and keep my comments a little abbreviated because we'll have more time to, uh, to talk at our next meeting. Um, uh, great job overall out of what you've accomplished, especially this is really the first time that I've realized how much smaller your group is than some of the other groups. So knowing that you've done what you've done with maybe half the people, and I know you've gone through a couple of other challenges um, in the midst of this, I'm really impressed with what you've done. Um, 
I, again, I, visually, I think your presentation looks great. And I think I mentioned in our last meeting, I really like the way that you're incorporating kind of the visual sports, you know, elements into your branding and marketing. You're doing a great job. One of the things that um, we talked about in our last meeting that I didn't see as much here that I would encourage you to um, focus on for future pitches is kind of your connection to this issue, you know, your athletic backgrounds and why this is something that you're passionate about, kind of, you know, why you see this as a problem that, that needs a solution. It, it is, but just kind of going into detail a little bit more about that. Um, I think your prototypes, um, you've done a great job as far as the app and the website, kind of prototy prototyping what you want to uh, uh, what you want to put out there. Um, I would agree that you need to spend some additional time, like on the financial side, the number side, talking about what is it that you need in order to accomplish this thing, and where might your funding come from. You mentioned that it might be ad supported, but what would that model look like? Um, you know, one of the things we talked about at our last meeting was you never know what kind of feedback you're going to get when you give this pitch and that you might find somebody on the panel that gives you an entirely new direction to look in. I think you just got that <laughs> from this gentleman over here, so um, I would really encourage you to follow up on that. You just potentially found a whole new you know, market and user for, for what it is that you're talking about. Um, but uh, yeah, again, I'll, I'll save the rest of my feedback for uh, for when we meet next time, but overall, great job. Um, I'm excited to see where you go from here. Uh, I thought there was a really good presentation, and uh, I'm not really I'm I'm not really sure just personally how big the problem is you're trying to solve. But it makes sense to me that it is a problem where you have to go to several different resources to get an idea of what the what's going on. And so I could see having that information available on an app would, could be really useful for anybody, any parent trying to figure out, especially if you have more than one kid that's in more than one sport, you go, well, wait a minute, I thought I was going to, you know, to Bullard, it's, it's at the McLean, you know, it's, that, having that information available on, on an app, I think it's great, it's, I think that's fantastic information. Um, uh, the monetizing by ads, it sounds, I mean, it sounds good because I think you'll get a lot of the same advertising that you get, that other uh, advertisers use, you know, how they utilize sports for advertising. You'll get those same group of people wanting to be part of an app. Um, I think, so I think that you'll find that you'll have people who are gonna help support it through the ads. Um, I uh, I think also if 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 you would sort by in, in the website maybe even the app right now you're you're it looks like and I don't know if you plan on changing this but you're going by school it could be that somebody just likes football and he wants to know so a primary sort would be football as the primary you know category and then list all the schools and all the events and everything under that as opposed to going straight to the school and finding the events of the school. Just another way of manipulating the data to look at the data. It is all going to be database. It's going to be 100% database. And um, I think when you guys figure out your business model more and you figure out, uh, this, this is one of those, uh, to me, one of those projects that you could come up with a pretty good idea of what the costs are to get to the end. You're going to need an app developer, you're going to need, but you may need a graphics person and a software person. That, so you, you can get an idea of what those costs are, you know, and, and make it part of your ask, you know, when you're asking for money, because that's what they're going to want to know is, you know, where's the money going that you're asking for, and, and then maybe also, where, when, how do they get paid back? And so uh, putting more of the financial aspects of how this works, how many downloads do you expect, and how many advertisers, and all that stuff, just kind of mapping it out um, would be helpful. But I, I, I like your presentation, and I, I think it's a good idea. Um, I could, and, and keep in mind, too, that most things, you may already know this, but most, most access to the internet is through, through mobile phones now. And so, um, I have a few different websites, and by and large, the majority of it all comes through people look at 
the sites through their phones. And so having a nice app uh, to, to work with and, and, and to look at stuff is, is really good. So. Good, good presentation. Yeah, good job, guys, for sure. I uh, really liked your, your ability to pronunciate and talk and your hands moving freely when you're talking, you're real relaxed, especially as you're comfortable with your product. Really, that kind of stuff matters. You have three seconds to make a good impression. It's important that you guys do that. You did a really good job. Very impressed. You're half the team that we've seen all day, and absolutely, I've been coming here for four years. I think it's four years now. That's one of the best presentations, like, graphically, I've seen. So I buy into your app just because I can see you can do that. Seriously. So A plus on that side of it. I would like to just throw out some ideas to you. I don't have any questions for you, unfortunately. I wish I did. I don't know enough about it to ask questions, so I apologize for that. But as uh, information, who in here plays soccer? You play soccer? You play soccer? You play soccer? Yeah, you, I knew that already because all the pictures were soccer. <laughs> so uh, there's more than soccer unless you're trying to just capture that and you're going to lose me there. Again, if you're going to be asking me for about ten to $15,000 for an app that does what you're doing and then a website and somebody working on that full time, I mean, it's going to be huge cash here. If it has a return, it's going to be huge cash. So I need to see baseball. I need to see football. You said of words. I want to see, you know, what's that mean? What's that going to look like? Those visuals are going to be big. Uh, again, I feel very fortunate just to give you that advice because that was really good. Uh, blogs. Think of blogs. Um, there's a company in Fresno called Fres Yes. I wrote this on here. Uh, owner of Fres Yes is a, a decent friend of mine. His name is Jason Harris. Um, I put on here you, my name, so you could call him and talk to him about integrating this on a website, maybe having him support you in that if it doesn't turn into a business, but it's still an idea you want to move forward with. Um, he would probably be able to talk to you more about how the blog works. There's two apps that are already in use that you might want to look at, Eventbrite and Meetup. Those are apps that I use every day because I can, I, I go to, my schedule is ran by three different people, and a fourth person being me. There's three different people that tell me where to go every day, and then I get to put a slide in where I want to be. Um, so that's huge, being able to get it to my phone so I can see where my kids are going. I think that's that's huge there. I mean, you guys are really on to something with that. Um, offer ads, don't pay, don't charge for it. You know how hard it is for screen time? You know how hard it is to get somebody to download an app on my screen? It can get too cluttered. I, de I just delete things I haven't touched in. So you're going to have three months of somebody not touching these. What can they do? What can you attract to get people to get on that app during downtime so people aren't deleting it and you're sending notifications out? Remember, that will absorb battery, so a lot of people will kill that feature. So make it content, make it first, make it something that um, has, has, is relevant, you know? Like, High school quarterback just broke Fresno Unified School District record. And I'll add five more Clovises to what the first guy said. <laughs> and 20 more. Sanger is also a huge city right now with sports. Um, you need to figure out a way of getting a link to the school district or this individual school that wants to, you know, do something like this that they can basically put their schedule in there and that feeds to you. I don't know if that's possible. I own a restaurant. So I, don't even, I, I can geek out with that, but I don't know if that's even possible. Something that someone else can data input, or you're going to be data entry to death. You guys are going to hate the life, okay? So don't. And what else did I have? Costs. You guys need to, you guys need to reach out to some developers on costs. Bravo. Good job. Thanks, you guys. Uh, we had an interesting uh, school's over, and they got some of these kids fight you. But thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.